Euro reaches 11th hour deal as Angela Merkel and uh, Nicolas Sarkozy hold crisis talks. So they're, they're trying to reach this 11th hour deal. They haven't reached it yet. Uh, and it continues early on Thursday morning. After seven hours of talks, Germany and France reached a common position on a second bailout of Greece. So somewhat of a deal, but not completely. But details of that accord were not revealed. You can't let the slaves know what's going on. Uh, the German chancellor and French president have been... Um, Barrage with pleas from political and financial leaders to reach an agreement or risk the collapse of the single currency. And then they'll give them trillions more of taxpayer money to the bankers. And then you go into more debt to prop them up. And then a month from now after this new deal, they'll say, now we need trillions more or things will collapse. And then trillions more will be given. And they'll say, now we need trillions more. We need to raise your taxes more and cut more services or things will collapse. And then more will be given. Same thing here in the U.S. And on and on and on and on and on forever, just like a third world country. Just like Nigeria, just like Brazil, just like uh, Argentina. Argentina, more wealthy 80 years ago per capita than any other country in the world except for Switzerland. The saying was, as rich as an Argentine or an Argentine. Not anymore. <laughs> Ted Anderson was down there. I know, last year, and he said it was hellish. And he said, you see families, not drunken homeless people, but good-looking families living in doorways with their children everywhere, police stomping around, a once wealthy nation that signed on to the banker system destroyed. I'll never forget that article in 2000, 2001, the Washington Post, where the Washington Post reporter witnessed it, an 18-wheeler carrying black Angus beef, premium beef turned over, Two weeks into the total collapse, and there were families, it described like Robinson Crusoe, in their suits, but with torn, torn jackets and in holes in them, with dirt all over their faces, running up with knives and cutting off giant bloblets of beef and gobbling it with their children with blood all over them. You can pull that article up, just, just like piranhas, just like tearing into the meat. Because they hyperinflated their currency, they shut down all the infrastructure when they, quote, defaulted. And so we're just being maneuvered into the inevitable default. They're just getting as deeper threatening default now as they, as they get as deeper down the rat hole. Germany, France, break euro, bailout deadlock. Yes. Yes. Rupert Murdoch's Fox News ran Black Op Department. Former executive claims they'll end up dead. Uh, that's out of the London Telegraph. Look for that executive to commit suicide real quick. Uh, <laughs> we'll be right back. Stay with us. Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central, 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. We are here live. Back Sundays with another live transmission, 4 to 6 p.m. Central time. The websites are prisonplanet.tv where we stream in living color the entire three-hour uh, program every day. Uh, also at prisonplanet.tv, you have all my films in super high quality, expanded extras, my book, Paul Watson's book, starting next week, live rants, special uh, interviews coming up in about a month and a half. We will launch September 1st, actually, the new nightly TV show. More details coming soon. All of that at prisonplanet.tv, and it is your memberships that also finance so much of our other operations at prisonplanet.tv. So if you believe in what we're doing, go get a prisonplanet.tv membership today. It's 15 cents a day, $5.95 a month, or get a yearly membership and get three months free. Prisonplanet.tv, and I only scratch the surface of the benefits of a prisonplanet.tv membership. Uh, every subject you can imagine from vaccines to GMO foods to stage terror uh, to satanic activities of the globalist, and their bizarre activities and, and mindsets. It's all at prisonplanet.tv. You can go there and download and burn to disc all my films, the thousands. It's, it's been up there eight years. And we had some of the archives were broken for a while of like stuff going back eight years ago, but that's all been fixed now. Uh, so there's just thousands and thousands and thousands of pieces of media at prisonplanet.tv, a higher quality audio podcast uh, every single day, commercial free, uh, prisonplanet.tv. Okay, I, I want to get into our top story today uh, here in just a moment. DHS video characterizes white Americans as most likely terrorists. And I want to illustrate from every angle why this is so big and play part of the disgusting see something, say something, nine-minute Homeland Security video and, and stop it every 10 seconds or so and just analyze. The, I mean, the, 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 this is 100% overt what they've done with this. And so I want to break that down. 
I need to pause for a moment because I will tend to spin out and my RPMs will go up too high and I won't calmly go over every aspect of this next report. DHS video characterizes white Americans as most likely terrorists and I uh, shot a video breaking down the different uh, facets of this. Uh, this morning, Big Sis tries to turn minorities against whites by labeling whites terrorist. Uh, that report uh, is up on Infowars.com as well. Uh, our main report, DHS video characterizes white Americans as most likely terrorist, is uh, on the right-hand side of Drudge. Second story down was top story earlier, red linked. I'm glad Matt Drudge of DrudgeReport.com recognizes uh, what is big news. Uh, big Sis tries to turn minorities against whites by labeling them terrorists. I wrote this little blurb this morning. Watson's article is more detailed. See something, say something, TV ads sell the false idea that white terrorists are hiding under every rock and only Big Brother can keep minorities safe from the vicious, wicked white killers. For nine years, this has been taught to police behind closed doors. We have the training manuals, the training videos sent to us by good police. That's how we know that. Now they are rolling it out in public, as we told you they would. They would announce, white Al-Qaeda is coming to get you. The propagandists sell, in the past, sold good old boys on the police state to keep us safe from al Qaeda. They then turn it around on the whole public. Uh, we're going to go to that video in a little while. Uh, some whites uh, are uh, racist uh, against minorities, so the federal takeover is sold in the name of getting the evil brown people. Uh, then the social engineers flip it and tell the racists that happen to have dark skin, it is the whites to look out for. Total divide and conquer is the outcome. Everyone is bad, but the real terrorists that actually stage the attacks are loving protectors, uh, the feds. So, so we're being told, and we're going to go to that video again a little bit later, um, we are we are told that that the government is here to keep us safe we are told that they're doing everything they can to stop al-qaeda from striking you at any minute and then we learn on record that the u.s government was protecting the hijackers that's even senator graham one of the 9-11 commissioners and five others. Six of the ten have said that. We played you the MSNBC clip last week. We learned the underwear bomber on Christmas Day a year and a half ago was gotten on the plane uh, by a U.S. government agent. The State Department had to admit that they were ordered to help get him on the plane in Amsterdam and that uh, without a passport. The U.S. gave him a visa so the drugged out person could pop a firecracker on his pants and now we've all got to accept body scanners. Not only is this a domestic police state crackdown politically, it also scares us in, into getting behind all these illegal wars in the name of rooting out the people that attacked us. And also these big defense contractors make in the last decade more than $2 trillion in domestic spying, over a million contractors spying, uh, control grids, face scanning cameras, license plate reading cameras, naked body scanners, data mining. And I'm going to get into some of that news coming up that integrates with this. This is a total takeover. And it's very simple. It's a false flag. Hitler firebombs the Reichstag to declare a police state in Germany. Hitler blows up his own military base in Glywitz to blame on the Poles to launch World War II. Uh, the Tsars did it in Russia. The Soviets did it. The British have been caught doing it over and over again. Mainline British headlines, you know, MI6 running uh, the IRA, staging bombings as a pretext to clamp down on the Irish as, as an excuse to continue to keep troops there. I mean, this is the oldest trick in the book. Obama ships tens of thousands of guns into Mexico to cause a crime wave to then blame it on the Second Amendment. And even when he gets caught, he's still using it outside of law and outside of courts to go in. I was talking to one of my friends the other day uh, who, had, who bought two semi-automatic rifles because they were on sale. I've done that before. And it's a great, by the way, investment. All my guns have gone up in price that I bought you know, 15 years ago. And he got an ATF FBI visit at his house. No criminal record. It's creating the idea that you're evil and, and the ATF orders gun shops to do things that aren't even the law. 
That's what tyranny is. That's what martial law is. That's what dictatorship is. Well, I don't care if the federal go if, if the House won't pass a law that we can put carbon taxes on coal power plants. I'm Obama. I'm just going to do it. But by the way, my friends are exempt. It, it, this is absolute criminal takeover. I mean, realize that. But I digress. And I won't have time to play the whole nine-minute video. It is, it is propaganda that is unspeakable. I'm going to probably shoot a special report in the next few days where I just take excise pieces of this and, and, and you know, really in a uh, well-documented, slick way, uh, show people what's happening instead of just up here talking about it because words cannot describe how wicked and duplicitous this is. So what did Hitler do? First, he goes after unpopular groups in Germany, Jews, gypsies, communists, and he takes their rights away in law, and people get behind it. Yeah, get them. Then he swung it around against Christians, uh, against uh, Protestants, uh, against Seventh-day Adventists, uh, you name it, against his competition in business, even fellow Nazis. Uh, they would rob their companies and send them off to, to a death camp. This is what they did. A lot of the French that helped the Nazis take over France, they got turned against. A lot of the Vici did. So that's how this works. You first set something up with an unpopular group. And whether it's a good thing to make Muslims and Arabs unpopular or not, and obviously it's discrimination and stereotypical and wrong, it was acceptable to say these people are devils, nuke them, to call them horrible uh, pejoratives, uh, you know, camel bleepers, rag you know, bleepers, sand, inwards. That's all cute and funny on talk radio. Well, I don't think it is. Because even if you think Muslims are evil and bad and want to get you, at the end of the day, this was being beta tested on them to then be used against everybody else. And I told you from the FBI, federal marshals, state police in California, Missouri, state police in Florida, Texas, uh, federal marshals sending me slat training, the videos, we, we've shown them here. We've done special reports on it where they say, who are the number one terrorists? Gun owners, Vet returning veterans, libertarians, in the fetters, Ron Paul supporters. I mean, I have the training manuals here. The Homeland Security, the MIAC reports. Remember this being national news two years ago? Remember all this? Now, I told you, they've taken over the Middle East, they've invaded all the countries, they now are flipping over to work with Al-Qaeda to overthrow Gaddafi, the Muslim Brotherhood to overthrow Mubarak. They're now shifting to a new phase. They're going to keep the Muslim demonization going, but it's now a dish that's cooked. They just put it on the back burner to keep it warm. And, 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 and you know, they've killed bin Laden uh, you know, in, in their staged event. They're now moving on to the next phase to, okay, we don't have a Bill of Rights. We spy on you. You have no rights. We can secretly arrest citizens under the John Warren Defense Authorization Act, Enemy Commissions Act. We can fly you to places to be tortured. We can secretly execute you. Obama's continuing it. Now the next phase. They've already been beta testing behind closed doors with the police and military. Now they're moving it to white al-Qaeda. And in this video, they cut to, and every one of them were mentally ill patsies, it's been confirmed, even mainstream news admits, Jihad Jane and others, blue eyes, animating the blue eyes in the video to glow, look blue, blue, they're Al-Qaeda. And it shows, at the, at the beginning of this Homeland Security nine-minute video, a shot of family, of, 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 uh, you know, thinking about all that's good in America, nostalgia, on top of the piano, and 90 plus percent of the photos of the American family, it's Hispanics, it's Asians, it's black people. So you see it instantly. And there's one white guy, but he's blurred in the background. So it's like, this is America. We are many people. And then it cuts to a black guy. He's professional. He's good in his suit. He's no longer being the stereotypically put down by the same media, same government as a gangbanger. He's going out in the parking garage and he sees evil white guys getting ready to blow up the building and he calls it in on them. And then the good white guys, the only good white guys in the whole thing, FBI, show up. And they stop the, 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 the white al-Qaeda that's just everywhere. They're creating this false perception ahead of the private contractors that run the government staging more a terror to take over society even more so you won't be mad about going into austerity or having your social security taken or everything imploding and all the money going to the offshore banks no 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 and and 
Then it just cuts to white Al-Qaeda, white Al-Qaeda, blue-eyed women, they're going to get you. And then they mix in McVeigh. Of course, that was a staged event. They mix in all of this white, 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 white. And it goes on and on and on and on.